All right, what's up? It's Nick again, back for step number two in loan officer marketing on Facebook, and we're showing you three organic strategies how you can grow your connections, how you can um, build a bigger mortgage uh, marketing or mortgage business rather inside of Facebook using these three simple free strategies. All right, so if you didn't get video number one, make sure that you go back, catch that video. I drop a link to it down below in the description as well. And because that's a really important first step, you have to make sure that you're doing that step first in order for these other pieces to really have the biggest impact um, that, that they can create. So step number two in the loan officer marketing on Facebook process actually is not even on Facebook. It's actually off of Facebook, but it's going to set us up for an amazing step number three. Okay. So in step two, it's actually to get more customer testimonials. All right. So right now in today's day and age, 2019, your um, people trust other people. We call it the Amazon effect. You know, when you go to Amazon and you look at an item, it's going to tell you how customers rated that item, if they ended up actually buying that item or not, uh, what they bought with it, what they bought instead. It's going to show you the rankings of, you know, how this is on the bestseller list and all this kind of stuff, right? Um, people are leaving written testimonials, they're leaving photos, they're leaving video reviews now on Amazon. And all these things convince people whether to buy or to not buy or invest or not invest into a specific item that they're looking at. Well, the same thing is occurring in any kind of service industry or any sort of professional services as well, just like with loan officers, okay? People are going to Google, they're going to Yelp, they're going to YouTube, they're going different places, and they're looking to see what other people are saying about working with you, right? So before they decide if they're gonna hire you, they're looking to see what other people are already saying about working with you. Because we know the fact that people are going out there looking for that information, we wanna provide it for them, right? Now, here's the thing in today is that the only people that are leaving unsolicited reviews, particularly online, whether that's a video, now, now usually it's not going to be impact on a video, I'm more talking about on the written reviews, is going to be like old ladies that didn't get a chance to talk to the manager, right? They're going to be upset, they're going to want to leave a review, they're going to want to make sure everybody knows about their experience, and you have to be able to combat that. Okay, if you don't have any reviews online or you're not getting customer testimonials and you get a one star review, that's a big deal. If you have 50 reviews and you get a one star, now it's not a big deal. Now you're just a 4.9 instead of a five, right? So we have to be sourcing and asking for customer reviews all the time because the people that are really happy, a lot of times they don't volunteer a review. The people that are upset are the ones that volunteer the review, right? So. If you're a loan officer, the way you do this is you call your clients the night before closing and you're going to ask them, hey, listen, would it be okay tomorrow? You know, man, man, I've loved working with you. It's been an awesome transaction. Would it be okay if tomorrow I just set my camera up on a little tripod, leave the room and you guys can record a quick testimonial just to kind of tell your story about what it's been like working with me? 99 out of 100 people are going to say yes to that. And now what's going to happen is the women they're going to actually show up ready to be on camera. They're not going to have their, you know, hair up or in their yoga clothes, no makeup on, where now they feel uncomfortable getting on camera. And also they're going to have time to think about what they're going to say. Because if you surprise people with it at closing, oftentimes they don't know what to say. And that's when you get those really cheesy generic reviews that say like, oh, working with Nick was awesome. He was so great. I definitely recommend him. Well, it's like, what did he do for you? How did he help you? you know, um, what were your relationship together, right? These kind of things. What was his advice? How did he, what was his professional service? There's no, oftentimes it's so generic and bland and, and um, plain that you, you could take that review and put it for any business, right? You want to have people that are talking about, man, I worked with Nick to get my home loan because we bought, we were buying a house right here in Columbus, Ohio. And, um, you know, my realtor recommended that I needed to work with Nick. And so that's what we did, right? How I heard that looks, but you want to be getting great reviews, all right? So if you call your clients the night before closing, that's how you're going to end up getting great reviews, right? And now you've got this awesome review that you can use on YouTube, you can use on Facebook, you can put on your website, you can have it transcribed and, and use it in emails, right? There's so many ways to use a video testimonial, but you'll never get them from your customers if you don't 
ask for them, okay? That's the only way to get them is to ask. So get over the awkwardness of that piece and ask for more customer reviews, more customer testimonials because today, people believe other people. And having those reviews online is one way that you can demonstrate ahead of time or in the very beginning of the sales process, you can eliminate that fear, that risk that you know, you're not great or you're a scammer or you're not real, any of that kind of stuff because you'll have so many people talking about you that it eliminates all that fear. All right, that's step number two in the loan officer marketing on Facebook process. Make sure again, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment down below. Let me know how many reviews per month are you getting from your customers right now? How many video testimonials are you getting from your customers right now every month? Leave a comment, let me know down below, and make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that uh, bell button so that you can get notified anytime that I drop a new video, and we'll see you on the next one. My goal and intention at this moment is to do two videos per week. I hope you're having an awesome day. See you next time.